Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install configure JBIC server 7.4 with MySQL as the database on CentOS Stream 9. Okay, first open the web browser. Then go to JBIC's official website that is jbix.com. Then click on download 7.4 or get JBIX. Both are same. Then select JBIX packages. See here, step 1, choose your platform. Select JBIX version, voice distribution. Okay. Send OS. See here we have the send OS. I'm on send OS 9. Select 9. Then select JBIX components, server, front end, and agent. MySQL as the database. I have already installed MySQL on send OS stream 9. If you want to install, then check for my YouTube channel. How to install and configure MySQL server 8.0.42 on send OS stream 9. Okay. Then web server Apache. Okay. So first verify these two prerequisites install or not. Open terminal, sudo systemctl, status mysqld, Load the password of sudo user, hit enter, see mysql is installed, view to kit, control a, now verify the apache web server status, sudo systemctl, status httpd, hit enter, see you don't have any apache service, or even if you go to netapp, just give localhost, See Apache Web Server is not installed. Okay, so install it. sudo dnf install httpd. Hit enter. See now it is installing Apache Web Server 2.4.62 on these dependencies. So this is going to install total 11 packages. Type a for confirmation and hit enter. Type and hit enter. We have successfully installed now if the status see apache web server is installed but it is not started so start it okay sudo systemctl start httpd hit enter enable it see it is started verify the status again see apache web server is started seven seconds ago and it is enabled okay now go to new tab just give local host See, we got the web page. Okay, so both prerequisites match. So once we select these options, then come to step two, that is install and configure JBIX server, JBIX for your platform. Okay, so in this we have the A, B, C, two, F. Okay, so first one, install JBIX repository. Disable JBIX packages provided by EPL. If you have installed, edit this apple.refo file and you have to add this one that is excluding the packages i don't have so go to then proceed with installing jbix repository copy it control a sudo paste it hit enter and now run this dnf clean all sudo dnf clean all it is done now install jbix server front end and agent so copy this one don't copy the hash symbol copy up to end then sudo paste it hit enter see it is going to install jbix these jbix components and the version of the jbix components is 7.4 and these dependencies okay Type and hit enter. Type and hit enter. We have successfully installed. Now step, step C that is create initial database. So connect to mysql and run these commands one by one so connect mysql server mysql hyphen u root hyphen p not only root you can use the account that have the privileges to create the database see we have successfully connected to mysql server version 8.0.4 control a now see this first step will create the database second step will create the user then third step will create the we will grant the privileges 
to this user on this database that this this will set this global parameter to one okay so copy this command not only paste it hit enter it is done now create the user paste it hit enter so we have to give the strong password so this won't take paste it again remember this password later we need this password more than once we have successfully created see whatever is there in single or double quotes it is the password okay then grant the privileges paste it hit enter now verify the databases whether the database is created or not see we have the jvx database you can also verify the users select Select user from MySQL dot user. See, we have the JBX user. Okay, now set this value to one. Copy it, Control L, paste it, hit enter. Now exit. Now we have to import initial schema and data. Okay, then it will ask password for the JBX user that we have created. Okay, copy this entire command. Don't copy the hash symbol. Sudo paste it, provide the password. See, we have to copy this password and paste. Okay, so I am typing manually. Hit enter. This will take one or two minutes. It is done. Control A. Now connect to MySQL server and set this value to zero again. MySQL hyphen u root hyphen p. Then provide the password of root account. Then copy this command, paste it. Now verify that data import is success or not. Use provide the name of the database. Show tables. See we have list of the tables that copied when we run this command. Okay. So now step D that is configure database for JBIC server. Okay. So copy. This file with the path, then we have to set the DP password that we have given that control A exit fit sudo vi or nano, whatever the editor that you are familiar, you can use it. Paste it, hit enter, go to the DP password parameter, log file size, scroll down. See here we have the DB name that is JBX that we have created. And username is JBX. If you have given some other, some other username, you have to give that username. Then DB password, remove the hash here. See, we have uncommented. Then shift A. Then provide the password without quotations. Then escape colon double Q exclamation. Hit enter. Now step E that is start JBX server and agent processes. So copy this command sudo paste it hit enter it is done now enable these services copy it sudo paste it hit enter it is done now verify the status of the jbix server sudo system ctl status jbix hyphen server see jbix server is running and these are the processes RPID is for, for the JBIX server. Q to fit, control L. Last option, open URL for JBIX UI when using JBIX Apache web server. So, we have to give host, HTTP host, host name or computer name, then JBIX. Okay, host name is here is localhost. Or you can give IP, host name. See, localhost, okay. So, you can also give IP of the machine, IF config. See, this is IP. You can give IP or host name or low back IP anything is fine okay so I am going to give host name go to new tab http colon forward slash localhost then jbix hit enter see here welcome to jbix 7.4 then select the default language from this list I am okay with the English US then click on next step see check for prerequisites all are green then click on next step Configure DB connection MySQL, then database host name 
localhost because MySQL server is installed on this one. Database port number for the MySQL is 3306. Then database name, database name is JBX, username also same, then provide the password of this JBX user that we have given, that is admin at 123 in my case. Then click on next step, not now. So you haven't received any error means we have successfully configured the database. Now server settings, JBX server is installed on this one. So local host is fine or you can give IP or server address. Okay. Then default time zone, select the from this list. Remaining like default team and encryption, you can encrypt connections from web interface. You have to select and you have to fill this CI information. I don't have anything. So click on next step. See, this is the free installation summary. If you are okay with all the settings, then click on next step. See, congratulations, you have successfully installed JPEX frontend and this is the configuration file. Then click on finish. Then we have to connect to JPEX by giving the default username and password. That is admin A must be caps. Password is JPEX. It is small case. You can search, you can check for the this video description for this username and password. Okay. If you give small A, it won't work. So these are case sensitive. Then click on login, sign in. Not now. See here system information. We have installed JBIC server 7.4. Okay, and see here in the left side we have dashboards, monitoring services, inventory reports, data correction, alerts, users, administration, and see here in the bottom we have the sign out and other options. Okay, the only option that I want to and you can practice them by going to see here we have the quick start guide. Or you have few videos you can see, you can go through them and you can practice. Now I want to show you how to change the password of the currently logged in user users again users then see here we have the admin okay click on admin if you want to change the password you have to click on change password okay and if you want to create users go back to users again then click on create user this is the way okay as i told you you can also connect by using loopback ip 127.0.0.1 jvx see we got this login page you have to give username and password okay the last option is control L sudo system ctl stop httpd hit enter it is stopped see apache web server is inactive or dead okay now if you reload this page it won't work even if you go to connected tab so you are unable to connect okay so apache server must be up and running you to get control L sudo system ctl start httpd hit enter it is started now reload this one even if you go to this this tab reload see we have successfully connected okay so in this video we have seen how to install configure jp server 7.4 on centos stream 9 by using mysql as the database okay for more tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you